Welcome to the AE Juice YouTube channel. I'm Chris and in this video I'm going to show you how to export your videos from Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects you've got a brand new video created, the composition is there. As you can see we are just going to export this logo popping up and popping back down again. So as you can see, the animation only actually lasts for three seconds. So the first step that you want to do is you want to select the area that you want to export. So I want to stop the export at here because if we export these remaining seconds, then we're just going to get around 10, nine seconds of nothing. So we'll just select this cursor here. That's our end point. We'll just drag that towards the end of the animation. We'll play that back and this is what we're going to export. So as you can see, we've got three seconds, the animation pops in and then pulls back out again. So from here, we're just going to go up onto composition and we're going to go down to add to render queue. Of course, if you're on Mac, then the shortcut to this is shift command M. But of course, we can just press add to render queue. And then this is going to load up the render queue window. So if we just expand this, you can see we've got these three different settings. So we're going to go into render settings, select best settings. As you can see, we've got quality, best. We'll keep that as best resolution full. Size is the size of the composition, so if you've got a 1080 composition, it's going to be 1920 by 1080. Disk cache can remain as read-only. Frame blending can stay on for checked layers. Field render off, motion blur on for checked layers. Time space work area, and then the frame rate should be use comps frame rate, which in our example is 25 frames per second. So we'll just press OK on that. Then we'll go down to the output module, so we'll select lossless. Here we're going to select our format slash codec. So we'll go into format and of course you can do multiple different formats here but the one that I like to use is QuickTime. Do no post render action. In channels we want to select RGB. As you can see in this drop down menu we can also see alpha and RGB and alpha. The alpha channel is essentially the transparent layer so if you wanted to export this animation with a transparent layer you would select RGB and alpha but if you just want to export it with the solid background just select RGB. Depth can be millions of colors. Color can be pre-multiplied matted. All of this is fine. Of course, if you wanted to resize this, so let's say you made an 8K composition and you want to resize it to 1920, just select this and select resize. Of course, if you wanted to lock the aspect ratio, you just select this icon here to lock it. And now if we pull this down to 675, it's going to change the height down to 380 so that it maintains that 16 by nine aspect ratio. Of course, though, we don't want to resize this, so we'll deselect that. You've got crop here. Of course, we'll just carry on. We'll go OK. Then we'll go to output two. select the comp name. And then we're just going to find a destination for this. So I'm going to go into my desktop. We'll create a new folder. We'll go export, save that. And then you've got your log. So you've got errors only plus settings plus per frame info. We'll just go errors only. And this means if something goes wrong on the export, After Effects is going to tell us. Now from there, we'll just press render. That's going to take a few seconds and then we're done. And there you go. That is how you export your videos from Adobe After Effects. Of course, don't forget to check out the AE Juice website to download some amazing plugins. Personally, I would recommend the I Want It All bundle. You get an absolute world of plugins and it can really help to elevate your video and take your work to the next level. So check out the AE Juice website. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, click that bell icon, like this video, leave a comment below, and I will see you on the next video. See you there.